this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in Praise the name of the Lord. I do have a word from the Lord to the people of God. Hear he him. Praise God. Do you have your spiritual ears on this morning? The Lord is trying to tell us which way to go. As we travel this, is the this earth realm. Remember, we're not of this world, but we're in it. This is and the now we are pilgrims traveling through, trying to make it to our natural home. Not spiritual home, I'm sorry. And we might be found well done. My good and faithful servant. God is looking high and he's looking low. For soldiers in this army of him. The kingdom of God is not in meat or drink. But is righteousness, peace and joy. And the Holy Ghost which is in you. So the kingdom of God is in us. I heard something uh, last week. Uh, Surrender Clark Cole, but you're talking about grace. And she said, God's righteous. No, God's riches at Christ's expense. A crust. G R A C E. God's riches at Christ's expense. He died on the cross for you and me. His expense. And God holds the keys to the cattle on a thousand heaps. And he supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. Preach, Pastor Hyde. Praise God. It's not that time yet. Let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We come humbly submitting ourselves before your throne room of grace and mercy. We come lifting you up and we come magnifying your name. For you're so worthy. You're so worthy to be praised in this hour. Hide your humble servant behind the cross at Calvary and speak through me to your people. What thus said the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. And he made all things, and without him was nothing made. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Make him your Savior. Let him use you to build this kingdom. That is in you if you're a child of you and you have received the Holy Ghost. And don't think that once saved, always saved, because you can always, you have free choice to give it away. You have free choice to walk away. Divorce is divorce. The children of Israel did that to him many a time. Sunday school lesson was off the chain. Jeremiah was telling them about that 70 year captivity. And King Hezekiah didn't want to hear him. Throwed him in the prison. And uh, Jeremiah was trying to tell him. Sunday school lesson. Hey man, he put him in the dungeon. He didn't want to hear him. He wanted to hear the false prophets. Praise God. Bless his holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord, for these dying people that come to hear your word. Give them ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Uh, I got caught up in the praying <laughs> and, and teaching. The like, wife okay. had to catch me. Like, do I need to keep playing the music? Oh, praise God. Uh, 
That's all right. Praise God. Yeah, the Sunday school lesson was on me, and it was just like we do. The first Corinthians two. Oh. And uh it's just what we do. We we sit up there and uh God is trying to tell us something. And we have uh clogged up ears and we don't want to hear or we we don't want to hear it. So we dis dispel it. And we want to do our own thing and not what God tells us to do. And so they winded up in 70 years captivity. They kept winding up into captivity. If you're a child of heels, you're going to get spanked. The consequences of your actions. Mm. Sin separates. Let's go to the scripture. Tragic nature of sin. That's what we're going to talk about today. That's what the gospel message is on today. The tragic nature of sin. And we're coming from the book of Isaiah, the 59th chapter, starting at the second verse. And then we're going to skip down to the 14th and the 15th verse. Isaiah 59 to 14 and 15. And it reads, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. And judgment is turned away. Google. A boy backwards and justice standing afar off. For truth is falling in the streets, and equity cannot enter. Equity is being fair and impartial. Fair and impartial treatment. That's what equity is. Fair and impartial. Fifteen. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. Wow. Let me read that again. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. God was displeased because his people that are doing right start getting trampled on, thrown into dungeons and losing their jobs and slandered and and, and persecuted and trodden underfoot. Because they chose to do the equitable, the equitable thing. Mm -hmm. And they kept their integrity. We're looking at a country right now. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive them of their sins, and I will heal the land. This is God told his people. He gave you Second Chronicles 7, 14. He told us how it works. If we be willing and obedient, we can eat the fat of the land. In the last day, the 24th chapter of Matthew's, They will be fighting against one another. Nations rising up against nations. And kingdoms against kingdoms. We see it in Jerusalem right now. 
a skirmish going on right now. Skirmishes always leads into a war. They say there will be wars and rumors of wars, but be not dismayed. The end is not yet. We've been telling you how the signs are there. You look at the fig tree, and you can tell when they get to blossoming what season it is we're in. I know this global warming is this climate change. The seasons don't look like seasons anymore. But we have a discernment. Regardless of that, we have a discernment which is called the Holy Ghost, which can see afar off. We have eyes and we can see, ears that we can hear. And we can speak this word. God has given us all we need according to life and godliness to make it out of this world. Righteousness. Let's go to the scriptures and see what it, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God. That's two. Isaiah 59 and two. Your iniquities, your sin has separated. Sin separates from you and your God. God is your source. If you haven't made God your source, your Lord, your, your, your all in all, your King of Kings, your Lord and Lord, your before, before you do anything, before you even open up your mouth, it said, slow to hear, <laughs> slow to hear, quick to speak, quick to speak. Gets you in trouble every time. Get you bad quick to speak against you. Slow to speak. Quick to hear. Slow to speak. Quick to hear. Hear what's, what's being said. Yes, hear what God has to say to you. Listen intently. Because mm -hmm. he's going to do, lead and guide you into all truths. And it's all about truth. What, 12 and 22, Proverbs 12 and 22? Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. And they that speak truth is a delight to him. He loves it so. Because who is truth? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt yes. among us. Yes. Jesus is love. That's right. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. He is truth. Mm -hmm. He is life. Yes. The wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. The gift of God is eternal life. Yes, it is. Once you come to know Jesus and the pardon of your sin and you make him your Lord and Savior, he will put you on that path. Yes, sir. You will be become one of his. You will be walking in eternal life before you leave here. Whether you die, whatever death you die, maybe you'll make it like me to the rapture. Praise God. I th oh, I'm open. <laughs> that is my hope. <laughs> that this body won't die here. It is just... Shed me, shed off as uh, my soul be raptured, raptured up. But I have to stay on the straight and narrow road. Not that road that leads to destruction. Not that road that plenty be on it. Uh, and they're taking themselves right on to hell, a burning fire. Listen to me, saints. And your sins have hid his face from you. Second part of that second scripture. Oops. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you. 
that he will not hear. He won't hear you. He, man, God is not the man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God's word is him, himself, in the form of Jesus. God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And if I'm going to be working, and I'm going to be uh, 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 pleasing to him, I have to be walking in this spirit. And that spirit is letting what's inside of me rule and reign the day. Mm -hmm. Delight thyself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Your desires should be coming from him. This is what he likes. That's why we study the Old Testament. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Basic instruction before life in. Take that to heart. Put that in your heart. Let that lead and guide you. Because study to show yourself approve a work when that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing this word of truth. This word of truth is what's going to help you make it to your destination. Which is heaven. That ought to be your hope. And God is able to keep you from falling if you let him take the reins. Relinquish the thought, steering wheel. Release the reins. Let him, because I've denied myself. I picked up the cross, and I'm following him. We see a whole bunch of Whoa, some sins going on in the leadership of these United States. We seeing people spill out lies. Man, it ought to be a shame that their children are listening. Because they got to be seeing the lies that are being told out of their parents' mouths. And that's 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 really disgusting to to have your children see you lie on a daily basis, just blatant lies. Man, lies won't get you. What's in the dark will surely come to the light. Don't consequences of your actions. The skeletons in the closet. The skeletons in your closet will be revealed. I'm telling you. The word says it, it is truth, and I believe it. And your sins have hid his face. He's, he's hid his face from you that he will not hear you. He won't even hear you be praying your heart out. But man, godly sorrow worketh repentance. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. John the Baptist preached it. Jesus came behind him, took the baton, and was turned, handing it off to the disciples. And we got the Bible written through them. Praise God. That is where truth lies. The truth is in the word because the truth is the word. And the word is the truth. And if it lives and houses itself in you and live and move and have its being in you, you ought to be about truth yourself. The things that you used to do, you don't do no more. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new in your life. You're a peculiar person now. You're a royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. You've called out of darkness into this marvelous light. You're peculiar to them. They do not know you. They won't know you. They're spiritually discerning. They don't have ears, but they cannot hear, and eyes, and they cannot see. At least they hear and see and be converted. These are not heels. These are hypocrites if they're in the church. Just like the Pharisees. 
Jesus told them your father would. They thinking, they tried to tell them their father was Abraham. Jesus said, I don't know, your father is the devil. <laughs> if, you would, if you were my children, you would hear my voice. And a stranger you would not follow. Man, to be able to know Jesus' voice, you have to get to know him. And how you get to know him is studying his word. The Old Testament conceals. The New Testament reveals. The mysteries that are hidden is in there. You have to use both of them to understand. They come together as one. As you and the father are one. Just like a husband and a wife are one. Got to know one another. You got to be, be, be able to relate to one another. You got to know what your wife's tendencies is. What she's capable of. You're, you ought to know everything about her from her childhood now. She's always, we always talking about our past, what, what we used to do in the past and how it's unfolding little by little. We've been together June will be a 10-year anniversary, and I'm still hearing stuff about her past. she go in and... She grabs up old pictures and tell me what these pictures was, was was about and what they were doing at that time. And I tell her about our outhouses and the chitlins and then the chickens and my boyhood. Who I I made I'm, I become this man. Yeah, you know, things like that. You come to know Jesus. His attributes, his God. God tells us in the Old Testament what he likes and what he dislikes. And how, he, that man, when he gets to whooping the children of Israel, then, man, he'll take his, their enemies and sick them on. I think back to Job, how Job did nothing. And God even told the devil, he said, you making me, uh, 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 you you making me put on put on Job without a cause. I'm, I'm I don't have a cause to be putting the, the pain and suffering on him. He hasn't done anything, and you making me put on him without cause. Sometimes to make you a better person. And now all things work together for your good. Everything that God allows mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. is for to make you better. Okay. Job, perfect and upright man, but he still wasn't there yet. He still hasn't endured some things that to prove himself. His wife throwed one on him. Curse God, God and die. Question, Job questioned God. Oh, man, just like we all do. Lord, why? Lord, why? They said I had prostate cancer. Man, why? But I seen it coming afar off that I'm going to have to have a testimony to that fact. I've seen and heard preachers go through and they had a testimony. And this ain't nothing but a testimony. I was taking a biopsy last week. And the woman, when she was taking the biopsy, this is the third biopsy on the prostate. It had told me I had cancer in there. But is it spreading? Is it fish to do any harm? So she's supposed to be checking to see if it's doing it. And she's, while she's sitting up there clipping the, the 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 biopsy and she clipping the, the specimens she said up her telling me oh I see one is real big and it got to be cancerous and oh and I'm not for sure but uh if I was a betting man I'd I'd I'd, I'd be <laughs> be betting on this this is cancer 
this is all the while she's working on me. And I wonder to myself, is this proper? <laughs> what the Lord told me is that when he gave a piece that passes all understanding and it flowed over me and said, rebuke that enemy. And she said, everything's going to be fine. And so when she got through, well, I'm, I'm hurting, but it's not bleeding like it usually do. And I'm not hurting like it usually hurt. I went out there and I told, when they wheeled me to my wife, and I told my wife what the woman said. And I said, I am claim she's my wife. She's a, a, a positive all. She's always positive. We ain't worried about that. She said almost the same thing I said. She, we getting to think like each other too. And uh, so I tells her, I said, I would be like the three Hebrew boys. I mean, when if it be so, it be so. I'll be going out to cancer and be taking me out. But I know my God, he can heal me if that would be the case. But if not, as they said, they're going into the fiery furnace anyway. If God take me out that way, he'd be taking me out. If he don't want me to have a testimony, he don't want me to have a testimony. But so this, that this week they called me and they told me, well, this was a week later, mm -hmm. <laughs> this woman called me and she said, oh, Mr. Hines, everything looking about the same and we still monitoring and everything to continue to do what you've been doing and we don't see any special treatment need to be taken care of. And uh, bam, left it at that. Me and my wife looked at each other and said, ain't God good. Testify. Testify, mm -hmm. service. Testify. God is good mm -hmm. all the time. All and the time. all the God time, is. God is good. Yes. Don't believe the hype. Mm -hmm. Man, they going to fall. All liars. There's a place for them. There's consequences of your lying actions. Sin separates you from God. This is what's so killing about it. This is the Christian right. Oh, and judgment, 14. A judgment is turned away backwards and justice standing afar off. Said <laughs> You heard me talking about this injustice. Injustice, injustice. My people are out in the streets and they're on the battlefield and they're fighting for those that are least among us. That is a ministry. People need to have a voice. Tamika Mallory, I was listening to her down in Houston. They had a rally and George Floyd's uh, brother was there and and man, they were rallying up the crew and talking about staying peaceful and but letting them know we ain't gonna take it no more. Y'all just can't be killing us like this no more. They said there's ain't no telling how many that we don't have films on. Mm -hmm. And ain't no telling. You can say if if, if one if one is being filmed. It's about 10 that are not being filmed. That's right. Or better. Mm -hmm. But we know this has been happening all our lives. And you get the, what's good in the dark will come to the light. You come to find out this is how they came into being. Hunting us down and killing us at will. They got badges that they flip they, they, the, the, the point on it to show how many notches? How many? Well, me, my wife, she said, I could imagine the 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 the, uh, the uh, websites that they got where they in their back rooms and their closets talking about getting them a mm -hmm. an N word, getting them one. This got to stop. And we're here for that reason, that time, to make sure 
that our voices be heard. And that they, <laughs> judgment is turned away backwards, and justice standeth the far off. For truth is fallen in the streets. Truth and fail. And equity cannot enter. Fair and impartial. Fair and impartial justice got to prevail. Man. Our justice system is jacked too. We got to clean house. And the only way we can clean house is one can chase a thousand, two can chase ten thousand. We fight not against flesh and blood, but a principalities and powers, the rulers of darkness and high places. There are demons out there. There are witches out there setting spells and, 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 and taking over people's bodies and putting them in positions of authority. To run roughshod over the justice system. And they've been doing it for centuries. This is nothing new. It's worse than we thought. Because the doors is open and they coming out the closet. And they letting you know they speaking their mind. Mm -hmm. One man did that. He got away with stuff some stuff, and he's been getting away with for 70-some years now. And he said, this is where I do it. Y'all can do the same. And man, they are showing their true colors. He said, you will know them by the fruit they buy. Tamika was talking about the tree. He said, bad apples. He said, no, you, you should know the, the, the fruit by the tree. You should know the fruit by this tree. The tree will tell you. These entities, these, these places that are systemic racism, it's all of them. They had twin doctors on telling their story about their races, what they had to go through to get where they at. How racist it is. They, man, can you imagine? Doctors being racist? Whoa. Uh, well, about as bad as cop being racist. Judge, judge being racist. Mm -hmm. Man. President being racist. Yep. Good God. Man, it was worse than we thought. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Praise God. Yeah. 15. But no, no. <laughs> no, he said an equity cannot enter. True and fair, partial, fair and impartial justice cannot enter. It's people trying to do the right thing cannot enter. Yeah, truth has faileth, 15, faileth. And he that is departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And I look at... Uh, the woman, the uh, Congress lady, uh, huh? no, the one that they kicked out of the oh. uh, uh, office. Uh, to go yeah, uh, if I think of her daddy's name, but uh, uh, <laughs> she loses her position because she won't go along with the lie. That is, that is uh, heartbreaking. Uh, Liz Cheney. Yes, sir. Boy, I, I, I was going to slap myself if the Lord let me get out of this sermon without saying her name. Liz Cheney. Bless her heart. I ain't never agreed with her on nothing. But Lord, how mercy true. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. Truth be told is not my enemy. In fact, it is what I'm supposed to be embracing. I don't care if it came from my enemy. The truth is truth. And we're supposed to embrace truth. Yeah, truth faileth. We're supposed to pick it up. We're supposed to pick it up. We're supposed to sign the alarm. We're a watchman. 
Ezekiel, we're watchmen. Jeremiah, we're watchmen. Amos, we prophesy the truth. We speak the truth. We preach the truth. The apostles, David, Daniel, spit truth. We stand for truth and holding your peace is not standing for truth. You're supposed to sound the alarm. You're supposed to be up on the housetop blowing the horn. How are the people going to be warned to do what's right if you're going to hold the truth back and not spread, spread, spread it in the streets? Truth faileth. Faldeth in the street, it said in the 14th. And equity cannot enter. Man, that's what's happening there today. In the Testament, then it's about life and godliness. If you can't see it, it tells you. Maybe you can hear it. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Yes, I'm gonna get persecuted and 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 I'm gonna be a prey, and they gonna want to ostracize me. Yes, it's those that are not Christ-like are trying to be truthful in everything that they do. Do that have integrity. People that have integrity have been. Uh, what to say? They they don't like you, jealous of you, cause they can't be like that. And the Lord saw it. He said He saw it. And he said, "Man, it made my people a prey, and it displeased Him that there was no judgment." Get me. Uh, that scripture I told you. What's um. that? Um, second, first, uh, first, first Corinthians, Corinthians two fourteen. Yeah, chapter two, verse fourteen. Yeah. But the na but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolish uh, foolishness unto him. Neither can they know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Oh, is that the one you? That's talking? it. That's okay. it. That is it. Spiritually yes. discerned. Mm -hmm. They don't hear me. I be wanting to man, I be preaching to people that, that didn't catch none of it. Didn't hear me. Man, did you hear my sermon? Yeah, I did, uh, but what, what what you get out of it? And you get nothing out of it. Well, I had to ask the Lord. He said, some plant, some water. But the Lord gives the increase. Mm -hmm. It's his job to make sure what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm staying in my lane. And my job is not make you get this. My job is to hope and pray that you get it. It's his job. To, 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 man. The Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Uh, on 59 and uh, 19, the B part of that, 59 and 19B. Is that Isaiah? Yeah, Isaiah 59 and 19B. I'm, I'm slipping around. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, 19B, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. The devil, seeking around whom he may devour. The devil went roaring around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. The Lord will rise up a standard against him. Let the Lord fight your battle. Just stay on the battlefield. Yes. Keep speaking the word. Jesus kept speaking the word. When the devil came at him, mm -hmm. and what he do? He fled for a little while. 
John 18 and 38, Pilate said unto him, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. He took the truth and understood the truth. Jesus talked to him one on one. Man, he said, I don't know what y'all talking about. There ain't nothing wrong with this man. This man is sane and in his right mind. And he ain't did nothing. Why y'all want to kill him? Man, they trying to protect their interests. Yeah. They trying to make sure that they continue to be in the standards and that they be, uh, would say, upholding the, the, the money. That's why he had to kick them out with the money thing. John 14 and 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. No man cometh up to the Father Except in me. but by me. Mm -hmm. You can't get there no other way, baby. You got to go through Jesus Christ. And, and what's so killing about it, the Father has to draw you. And if you ain't been drawn by the Father because you cannot hear my words, guess what? You need to go back to the altar and plead your case. Mm -hmm. Lord, help me. That's how he got me. Lord, I had to say, man, Lord, I, I believe you now. Just help me. The man that had the son where Jesus went up to pray and he left his disciples down and they bought the, 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 the man bought his son to get healed and they laid hands on the disciples, couldn't do nothing for him. Jesus come down on the mountain and, and he said what he need. He laid hands on him, made hold. And he asked the daddy, he said, do you believe? He said, Lord, help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. Ask him, cry out. He's there to hear your heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The heart is wicked. The heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Get your heart right. Give up yourself. Get your selfishness out of you. And he can do something for you. Because it's under him who is able to keep you from falling. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. How you know the truth, you got to get in this word. Right. You got to understand this word. The understanding will come from the Holy Ghost. Right. You don't need no man to teach you. It's all there in the Holy Ghost. Study to show yourself approval. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing this word of truth. It's in here. Everything according to life and godliness is in here. You have no excuse. Psalms 86 and 11. Teach me thy ways, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. Teach me. 86 and 11. Psalm. Teach me thy way. Oh, Lord, he can't teach you if you don't study this word. He cannot. He teaches you by this word. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Listen to me, people. He's trying to get you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Out of this world into this spirit realm. And it's on the inside of you. First John 4 and 6. Let's wrap it on up. We get out of here. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. That's that scripture you were talking about. He that knoweth God heareth us. First Corinthians 2 and 14 coincide with this. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We know the devil. We know the enemy. We know the error. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. 
That's First John 4 and 6. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. If you are of God, you hear me. You hear God crying out to his people, trying to get them to repent because this world is falling apart. And if you can't see it from the top down, the people that's supposed to be running the shows and all of these uh, entities, systemic racism everywhere, in every entity. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Spiritually discerning. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. 1 John 3 and 18 and we close out. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. That's it. Ben, listen to it again. First John 3 and 18. My little children. This is John, the revelator. Let us not love in word, neither in tongue. We talk a good game, but in deed and in truth. Love is the key. And that's what it all brought down to. Because God is love. Jesus is love. You will be about love. Because they rule and reign within you. The kingdom of God is not in meat or drink. It's not something physical. It's not something that you can say. It's not in meat or drink. But it's in righteousness peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's in the spirit realm. If you cannot understand the spirit, you cannot see the spirit. We can see those things that be not as though they were because we'll speak those things that be not as though they were because we can see them. We're in this spirit realm, and I'm trying to get you there. Let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for using your humble servant for such a time as this. We know that things are winding down and the workman is worthy of his hire. And Father God, that you use me to sound the alarm, to wake the people up, to tell them about the wickedness that is perpetrated in this country and around the world. Racism is on the rise. Hate is on the rise. Lord, let there be people out there to let them know that we don't like it and that we're going to fight against it spiritually and, and and with our deeds and the truth that we preach and teach. Father God, we pray that you send labors in your vineyard for the harvest is plentiful and the labors are few. And we pray for a revival, Lord, and that the people come together as one as you and the Father, Lord. And Father God, since this word went forth with power, we pray that somebody might ask, what must they do to be saved, delivered, healed, sanctified, and set free? In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. And if anybody don't know Jesus and the pardon of their sin, now is the time to say, Lord, I give you remember the saying when we were coming up, we said, Uncle. When you give, you say, Uncle. Say, Uncle. Say, Uncle. Say, Uncle. Lord, I give. Let you take the reins. Let you take the stand with. I'm not good at this. Life is 
beat me down. And drugs and alcohol and fornication and the womanizing and all the other sins that have consequences that take you somewhere that you really don't want to go. Just keep you longer than you want to stay and break you. Take all your money. I've been there. I don't want to go there no more. I uh, thank you for the life that he's given me. Say this prayer with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I relinquish my reins to you. I want to make you my Lord and Savior. I want to ask you for the forgiveness of my sins and my transgressions that we might come to a connection, that we might come back up and connect together. I believe that you died on the cross for my sin. And on the third day, you arose that I might partake of the tree of life. All I have to do is make you my Lord and Savior. And you'll take me to Acts 2 and 4 and give me your Holy Spirit. And it's only given to those that love me. 5 and 32, Acts 5 and 32. It's only given to those that are obedient. And this power that is from on high will be mine. And I thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. If you said that prayer, and if you believed in your heart, and you confessed with your mouth, you are saved. And now you got to stand in the gap. You got to be a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing this word of truth. Get you, get you a Bible-believing Bible church and a pastor that loves God with all his heart, mind, body, and soul, and his neighbor as himself. And don't forget, we are brothers keepers. And Temple of Faith, you can join us. This is the place to be loved, uplifted, and taught the Word of God. And if you don't, if you want to, if your finances to be taken care of, start paying your tithes and your offering. Find a place that you think is trustworthy with your finances. And watch the Lord bless you financially as well as when you go through trials and tribulation. He'll be there to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence of his glory with exceeding joy. He'll love to do that. Don't think that everything is going to be hokey. Don't worry. No, they're going to hate you. The world love they say, love they own. Game recognize game, and they love each other, and they're gonna hate you because you're out of darkness into the sparkless light. And so all minds are clear, let us close out. Chase Bank, Temple of Faith of God. You can deposit whatever. Hope you can pay your tithes, though. That's how you get it. He'll open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. There won't be room enough to receive. Trust me. I'm telling you the truth. And the truth will set you free. If nothing's said, let us close out. Let the sweet communion of your precious Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide until we return at the appointed time. We'll forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. That is so do you. And Father God, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and Israel. And that the fighting cease. And that the peace of you rest, rule, and abide. And Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Have a blessed day. And uh, we'll see you next week at the same time if the Lord say the same.
and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.